war when this all started. The militia, the militia simply saw the threat and we stood up against it. Norm Olson is known as the father of the Michigan militia, a paramilitary group that started in northern Michigan in the mid-90s and gained national attention following the Oklahoma City bombing when the Senate began investigating local militia groups. Justice is taken out of the equation. And once again this past fall when alleged militia members were charged in a plot to kidnap Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Do you really think, do you really think that anybody really wants to kidnap the governor? Olson, now in his mid-70s, lives in Alaska. He spoke with Fox 17 on the phone Monday afternoon. I'm an advisor, uh, I'm a propagandist, cheerleader for the militia, apologist for the militia, researcher for the militia. I know where it came from, I know how it's supposed to behave. According to Olson, the recent attack on the Capitol is anything but how militias are supposed to behave. He says militias were in D.C. to hear the president speak, but blames provocateurs for stirring up the violence. The dissipators, the troublemakers, took their lead and there was no one to stop them. I think the next time around, uh, if the militia would get it uh, act together and realize that they have a responsibility to actually stop that kind of mayhem and misbehavior, they have a responsibility also. So I would have liked to see more militia actually try to put down this, this demonstration. The FBI is now probing if there was a connection between extremist groups and the violence at the Capitol. That's not the way the Second Amendment militia acts. Second Amendment militia is well regulated, and there was nothing like that. Olson claims militias like the Michigan one he co-founded exist to defend the Second Amendment and liberty, and he refutes claims that they are anti-government. I want to see the rule of law upheld. I want to see the Constitution upheld. I want to see the, the spirit of the Republic upheld and reinforced. He maintains the baseless claim that the election was stolen from Donald Trump and says that's what's growing the division in the country. But even so, he's advising militia groups to stay away from D.C. during President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration. I've called them all back and uh, told them, no, stay away from that. The best, the best thing you the best told them, no, stay away from that. Uh, told them, no, I've called them all back. Inauguration. I've called them all back. I've called them all back. I've called them all back and uh, them all back and uh, I've called them all back and uh, told them no, stay away from that. The best, the best thing you can do to show your absolute contempt is to simply ignore it. Ignore it. For Fox 17 News, I'm Aaron Parsegian.